Hey, what's up guys? We're back with another build for Outward, and uh, this one is one that I hope you guys are going to enjoy. This is my Blood Mage build, and uh, uh, it's basically, you got the Scepter of the Cruel Priest, which is entirely decay damage, and gives you a bonus to your decay damage and does quite a lot especially once you uh, get your all of your buffs activated uh, you have the manticore dagger as your offhand weapon um, it doesn't really matter I guess if you use the manticore dagger or another dagger but I think it goes good with the aesthetic of the build and you have the tenebrous set because it all gives bonus damage to decay as well as giving a uh, reduction in mana cost which is very nice and I have them uh, all enchanted with the uh, enchantments that give them increased uh, movement speed and cooldown reduction so uh, it's pretty awesome because you are a very fast character and uh, it's always nice to have a little bit of cooldown reduction also. And yeah, I will uh, be right back to show you guys the uh, skill trees. Alright, so the first one Excellent. you're going to go with is the Hermit Cabal Hermit skill tree. And you're going to get all of the bottom ones. You're going to get the Shamanic Resonance Breakthrough. Uh, this doesn't really matter, but you're not going to be using the Sigil, and you're probably not going to be using Infuse Wind either, but I just went with that one, and Conjure, and yeah, that's uh, all the skills you're going to need from that one. I'll be right back to show you the next one. Alright guys, the next skill tree you're going to be using is going to be the... Hey that. Warrior Monk skill tree. Um, this one is uh, basically it's up to you. Uh, you don't have to go with the Warrior Monk if you don't want to. Uh, it just happens to be my favorite melee tree. But if you preferred, you could go, you know, Speedster. You could go, you know, to Berg and just get the the Warrior tree there. It's just uh, up to you. I just really like the Warrior Monk. And, you know, I get, you know, all three of the bottom skills, the breakthrough, uh, perfect strike. Um, you're not really going to need master of motion at all because you're not trying to be, you know, a super tanky boy. It doesn't really matter what your defenses and resistances are. Um, and I prefer the damage from perfect strike and counter strike. Again, if you really wanted, I guess you could go with Flash Onslaught, but I like Counter-Strike better. And I will be right back with the final skill tree. Alright guys, and here we are with the final skill tree, which is of course... Put them up! I'll train The Hex Mage skill tree, and uh, obviously you get the bottom three. You get the breakthrough, which uh, gives you recovery for your max health, mana, and stamina for every death around you. And of course, you're going with the blood sigil and cleanse, uh, because this is, of course, the blood mage build. So that's definitely going to be the way that you're going to go. And uh, of course, you get both of the top ones. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's basically all the skills that you're going to need, um, with the exception of the uh, Dispersion skill, which is the final skill you can get when you uh, finish your buildings in uh, Sirocco. You can get the one-handed mace skill. This is a very nice ability. Um, basically, you smack the ground and it does a shockwave and uh, if your weapon has an element on it it uses the element on your foes and gives them the associated hex which is very nice and of course um, you got your possessed 
which uh, gives you more damage for your decay and then yeah that's pretty much about all you need right there um, if you really wanted to well you can use the uh, mason fusion um, I personally don't use it because um, you're not really trying to get a different element on your weapon you're just trying to max out your decay damage as much as possible so uh, as you can see uh, on my right side I have the uh, skills that work with the blood sigil um, your blood sigil combined with the dagger strike will give you the leech effect which uh, is is nice um, if they're inside of your blood sigil you hit them with that it gives you a, a little bit of life leech uh, you've got your mana ward which gives you your uh, your big uh, boost to your uh, abilities um, one second I will tell you the actual f full abilities um, yeah so when you use the blood sigil and mana ward you will get the gift of blood which uh, does uh, one health damage per second which is you know not exactly ideal but gives you 15 percent physical frost and decay damage which is very nice um, gains corruption three percent which that's whatever and then um, nearby ally or summoned ghost will receive the same gift um, yeah it's got its drawback with the the you know damage that you're gonna be taking but at the same time it gives you so much decay damage and then um, if you use the blood sigil combined with conjure it gives you the uh, blood turret which uh, is actually kind of kind of insane. Uh, summons a decay turret, which lasts 30 seconds, and it shoots once per second, dealing 15 decay damage and 10 impact, and adds corruption. So, you, you summon this. Uh, they come uh, trying to attack you. They're getting hit by the turret every time, as well as by your damage. So it's it's quite powerful. Um, if you use blood sigil and mana push it gives you uh, the blood tendrils which do 50 decay damage 50 physical damage and 25 impact which uh, yeah it's a lot of damage also so uh, <clears throat> that's, that's why I have those on my right those are my attack skills once I pop down my blood sigil and um, on the left side I've got my melee skills um, perfect strike at the, at the bottom and uh, dispersion at the top and then I got my two blocking skills on either side and yeah that's just how I like to have it set up obviously you can set it up however you would like but yeah uh, now I'm just gonna go to some clips of me uh, smacking around some monsters I guess um, this one's not required, but I do also have the Virgin Lantern enchanted, so it uh, A glows red, and B, um, if you use flamethrower, it does uh, decay damage. So that's a uh, if you if you want to use it, you know it's there. I just like the aesthetic, to be completely honest. The backpack I have the Boozoo backpack, but uh, you can really use whatever backpack you prefer. I just think it goes good with the aesthetic and is also really nice to not have a dodge roll impeded. So let's go to the clips of me uh, beating up some monsters in the caldera.
Yeah, look at that damage. 164 decay damage on my freaking one-handed weapon. Pretty insane. Easy peasy. And yeah, that's my build, guys. Um, as you saw, the damage on my weapon gets absolutely ridiculous. I was doing, what, 167 uh, decay damage with a one-handed mace, and <clears throat> that's a ridiculous amount, not gonna lie. And uh, yeah, I've still got 11 protection and 2 barrier, because, um, you know, you go with the, uh, obviously, the... Um, Holy Mission faction line, and yeah, it gives you nice boosts to your uh, decay damage when you get the, uh, I forget what the name of it is, the one that gives you 10% uh, uh, decay and lightning and ethereal damage, that skill is very nice, and also makes you fairly tanky, gives you some... Uh, you know, some boosts to your protections and barrier, but uh, that's my build guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed, if you did leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the